Okay, thanks very much for listening to this Explaining History video. Um, a lot of the time my pupils ask me, how do I focus? You know, I've got a lot of things to read, I've got a lot of things to find out, a lot of research to do if I want to do my job as a history student properly. So how do I focus? And I would say that there's uh, a lot of common sense advice out there generally about how to focus about making sure that you're not in a place where there are distractions you know uh, playstations xboxes um, tvs and ipods and that kind of thing but there's a kind of a, a different a different approach that i'd recommend everybody knows all that stuff anyway everybody knows that they don't need to, uh, they shouldn't be distracted when they're trying to focus on something but it's easy to get distracted anyway. You know, if you've got a huge, huge task ahead of you and you think it's going to be long and boring and painful and you're not going to like it, it doesn't matter even if you've put your PlayStation uh, in a kind of a padlock box. You'll wind up with it in your hands without hesitation, without question. That is what will happen. So it's all about getting your head in the game to start with long before you actually sit down to start the essay. If you think all those things about the essay, if you think it's going to be boring and uninteresting and dull and meaningless and painful, you're not going to do it. You're not going to sit and focus for long enough to uh, understand the real principles, to learn the real principles uh, when you're doing your research and reading behind what you've got to do. Um, and you're going to find your mind wandering, you're going to be thinking, God, if I could be doing something else instead. So getting your head in the game is the most important task. Start off by thinking about the challenge. Start off by thinking, uh, instead of focusing on the negative about it, it's going to be hard, it's going to be long, it's going to be dull, it's going to be painful. Start asking yourself some empowering questions. What is going to be great about this task? What's going to be brilliant about it? What am I going to be like when I've finished it? How good am I going to be when I've finished it? You might not believe in any of these questions. You might find it all totally unconvincing. But even the process of asking the questions are going to start to get your mind working in different ways. They're going to get neurons firing in different ways and coming up with solutions. What's going to be, what's going to be great about this essay about Oliver Cromwell? Well, I'm going to understand uh, on a much deeper level what it was that was motivating him. I'm going to understand on a much deeper level what Parliament was doing at the time. I'm going to have a picture of a period of time that I ordinarily would never have had. And what's that going to do? That's going to take me in a different direction. That's going to develop my thinking. It's going to develop my understanding. It's going to make me uh, able to understand things in a much better way. And on the other side of this challenge, I'm going to be so much better at this subject. And you can apply this thinking to everything you do. You can apply this thinking to whatever subject you're studying. Now if you're still unconvinced, how about this? Think about where you've had successes in the past. Just stop this video for a moment and pause and think about successes you've had in the past. Not necessarily ones which relate to study but successes in your life. Things that have gone really really well. Things that you're proud of. Things that you're excited about. Things that you're grateful about. Go ahead and pause now and get those thoughts in your head. Okay, so you're back. Right. Now, we've got those images in our head. Close your eyes. Think about those images. Think about those moments of gratitude, those moments of excitement. And feel the feelings. Feel the feelings that come with them. Feel the feelings that of uh, achievement and being able to do things and succeed and being able to uh, focus and being able to... Be your absolute personal best. Think of those feelings and make them stronger and brighter and stronger and brighter and more and more powerful and more and more intense. And then once you've done that, think of the moments where you've been proud of what you've achieved. Think of those moments and those experiences. Think about the moments where you've really excelled and the, the, the triumphs you've had. And think of the obstacles you've overcome and how easy that was and how things were afterwards. And then take that feeling and imagine the dial turning the feeling up and up and up, more and more intense, more and more intense, more and more powerful, and then open your eyes. Now think of the challenge. Think of the enthusiasm. Feel the enthusiasm. Feel the focus that you have. I guarantee you, if you do this exercise, you'll be able to commit yourself 
to any reading or writing challenge. It won't seem daunting, it won't seem difficult, it'll seem easy and doable, and you'll be, because it is, because it is. And all you'll be doing is simply accessing the resources that you have inside you all the time, every, every day, in order to be able to overcome challenges. So give that a go. When you're feeling daunted, when you feel you can't focus, when you feel you can't do anything, give it a go, give it a shot, and then simply power yourself up and get your head in the game and also lock your Xbox away. Thanks. Bye-bye.